Hi guys, this is Jim, and this is part five of our video editing introduction. And this will be talking about exporting your video. So um, take a look at the screen, and what you see is Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection again. Um, this is a little clip that I put together for um, my family to to see. Um, I've got my son on uh, uh, the Flow Rider on a cruise ship, and what I've done is I've and I've just added a little quick title put some music over the top of it and then also some sound effects and things like that. Um, here's basically what it looks like. Okay, so there's that and that's all finished and I'm ready to go. Um, what I want to do is click up here on make a movie. Make movie. Um, what that'll do is bring up the export dialog boxes and you'll see right now that um, this one's set to export to DVD. Um, we have four choices here. Um, this one will take it to a disk and you can see that's highlighted and that's the interface that we see right here. You can also choose to a file um, which we'll come back to in a minute. You can also export it back to tape if you want to so you can hook your camera right up to it and it'll export it directly to there or you can take it to the web um, with YouTube and Yahoo Video are the two options that I ha that they have available. Um, I'm not going to use this export option and the reason I'm not is because if you look over here this says the video is going to be exported at 640360 which is a 16 by 9 format but it's very small so the quality of this video is not going to be high definition and will not look that great when we get it there. Um, as you can see, this is the best quality um, that I can choose. I've also looked for other options to try and uh, change these options to make it have a better or higher quality output and haven't been able to find it. So the way I get around that, and um, um, this is actually a better solution anyway because what this will allow you to do is keep the original file on your hard drive um, as an edited final piece. So what, what I'm going to do is click file up here and export it as an MPEG-4 video. Um, you have a whole bunch of different formats to choose from. MPEG-4 um, is a really good compression scheme right now. It's one of the top um, ones out there. We're going to go, it'll give me the 1080p option and if you look down here you have 1920 by 1080. 1080 is the magic number there. That's 1080p which means true high definition quality at 29.97 uh, frames a second. So we're going to go ahead and create a file there and once we do it's going to stick that file on our hard drive um, and I've already done this once so I'm not going to do it again but you'll click or you're actually put in a file name down here and then hit save and when you do it's going to render it. I'll go ahead and, and uh, start it and show you what it looks like. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to take this uh, this whole movie and compress it and make it one file that you can then use to upload directly to YouTube or Yahoo Video or whatever you want to use. It'll be true HD quality so you'll get that when you go to look at those online as well and share it with your friends and family. So my experience is, is that it, this will take somewhere um, this will take somewhere between uh, two and five minutes per finished minute of video. Um, so if you have a two minute video it'll probably take somewhere around ten minutes or something like that to get it out to that file and then once you're done with that you can go on to YouTube and um, choose upload from there and uh, you're good to go. So anyway I hope this helped and um, that concludes this uh, five part series of the video editing introduction and next stop is the class information. So. Um, stay tuned to the next one. That's going to be a really important one. I've just finished up this great product, and I'm getting ready to release it for you. I'm just putting the final touches on it now. Um, it'll be really good, and I hope you join me. So thanks a lot, and have a good one.